Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day students. Um, today we will be learning about the different forms of the equation of a line. And the very first one that we will be discussing would be the two-point form. Okay, so the two-point form is, uh, this form of the equation of a line is just simply a way on finding the equation of the line if you are given the following conditions. And this first condition would be you will be given two points. And of course, as, as we are taught before, that a line, the minimum requirements for you to have a line is if you have two points. So two points will always constitute to a line. And this would be the formula that we will be using for us to get the equation of the line. Okay, so just like what we do in solving for the slope of, ano, um, of a line using two points, okay, we, will for, we, we must first identify which ones are our x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, and y sub 2. Okay, and it's actually quite easy. So, to, for us to have a better understanding of what I am, what we will be doing, I, let's provide our first example being negative 4 and 7, and negative 6 and negative 4. So, of course, in this given, we have two points, and um, we denote always the very first point as our sub 1s. And the second point as our sub twos. Okay, so knowing these things, the important thing when it comes to you know, um, solving the forms, the different forms, is you have to substitute properly. Dapat alam mo kung saan mo siya ilalagay. And in this case, we are we are already provided with our formula. Therefore, every value here that can be substituted with, you need to replace. So, for example, you can change this y sub one. You can change this y sub 2, and the y sub 1 would be same with this one. We have x sub 2, x sub 1, and x sub 1. The y and x will not be touched because that um, they don't have any values corresponding to that. Okay? So now let's try to solve what is the equation of a line if these are our points. Okay? So substitution. So y will be the same. Okay? So just a reminder po, ah, if you do not need to substitute anything to it, do not change it. Okay, so y will stay the same, and the minus would stay the same. But y sub 1, we all know that that is 7, so that would be it. And when we are substituting, this is only for, ano, for our case, okay? So that um, you will not be confused when it comes to the sign. Always place a parenthesis when you are substituting, even if it is just one term, okay? y sub 2, negative 4. Minus y sub 1 is of course 7 all over x sub 2 is um, negative 6 minus our x sub 1 is negative 4 times our x sub 1 is I just said uh, we need a parenthesis here so if we would be putting a parenthesis on x sub 1 we need to increase the level I mean the the grouping symbol the level of the grouping symbol we need to use a um, bracket. Okay, so we have x minus x sub 1 is negative 4. Okay. So there you go. You have already substituted properly our given, okay, in our equation. So our given is these two points. This is our equation, which we have already substituted. The next thing we need to do is we need to evaluate. So we need to remove all the parentheses and all the operations, the addition and subtraction, okay, if we could. In this case, y minus 7, since that is just simply the same as um, y minus parenthesis 7. So, we just remove the parenthesis. Anyways, there's nothing else inside the parenthesis here. It's just the number. Okay. So, this is just y minus 7 is equals to negative 4 minus 7. The answer would be positive 3. So, it would for... Uh, um, some of this uh, no, evaluation part would, would fall under operations on integers, so you have to be familiar with that. Okay, negative 6 minus negative 4, double negative, becomes positive. Okay, negative 6 plus positive 4, the answer is negative 2. Okay, then we have x minus negative 4, since we cannot evaluate that, it, we would have x plus or double negative okay so the next thing that we need to do is just like what we do in our previous topic wherein we must 
um, express our given in the standard form. And the standard form is ax plus by is equals to c. Meaning all x values must be on the other side. Okay? So one tip for this one, guys. One tip for this one is... Actually, there are multiple of ways to, ano, to make it look like this. But one tip for you to be... Um, for you to easily um, express it in this case, okay? You need to remove the denominator by simply multiplying the denominator, this one, to everything on the other side. Take note, on the other side only and not here. This one is correct, not here, okay? So, let's try to move now. This negative 2 by multiplying it to everything in the other side. So, this one would be multiplied to... Uh, not, not, uh, let's use asterisk because it will be multiplied to y and this one will be multiplied to negative 7. Giving us an answer of negative 2y plus 14 is equals to 3x I know, sorry, is equals to 3 times x plus 4. And lastly, we need to eliminate all multiplication giving us negative 2y plus 14 is equals to 3x plus 12. And changing now our given in the standard form, transpose all the variables on the left side and all constants on the right side, giving us an answer of 3x minus 2y is equals to 12 minus 14. Finally, giving us 3x minus 2y is equals to negative 2. And this would be our equation of the line. Okay, so I hope that you got that. So you may ask, Sir, bakit po na ako na si 3x at si negative 2y? Remember po, if I would have this one okay, properly written, kung ano man yung dapat na nauna, it would be 2y plus 3x. But then again, this is addition. So meaning, we can interchange the position if, I ano, long as you bring the sign with them. So, this is positive 3x and negative 2y. Okay? So, you can only interchange if you bring the sign with them under addition only. Okay? Under addition only. So, now we have evaluated our given. This is now our equation of the line. And always box your final answer. Okay? So, next let's have our point, other point. Next example tayo. So, say we have, so we have something bigger like 19 and negative 16. And we have our other point as negative 7 and negative 15. Okay? So, given these two points, what we need to do now is we just simply need to substitute these points on our equation being, so let's go dito, y minus y sub 1 is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. Times po yan. Okay. Substituting them will give us y minus, y sub 1 natin is negative 16. Always put a parenthesis para hindi na lilito sa sign. Then we have y sub 2 is negative 15 minus y sub 1 is negative 16 all over. Um, our x sub 2 is negative 7, parenthesis paren. Then we have 19 times x minus 19. We will increase the ano, x minus 19. Okay? Since the things here na, ano, na may operation ng addition and subtraction na wala namang sign, we need to remove that and at the same time all double negatives must be removed. And all additional subtractions that can be evaluated should be evaluated. So, in this case, double negative. So, y minus negative 16 will give us y plus 16. And this one, negative 15 plus negative 16. So, the answer there, of course, would be dependent on the operation of subtraction. Change the sign. This would give you 1. And this one, negative 7 minus negative 19. Since they are generally both negative, so this would give you an answer of negative 26. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Times. Sorry. Times. 
x minus 19. So, what's the next thing that we need to do? We just simply need to multiply our given, our denominator, I mean, on the other side, dito sa may y. Mumultiply natin yan. So, we give it away. So, this would um, be, of course, if we just scroll down a little bit, this would be negative 26y minus, kasi that's multiplication of positive and negative, 26 times 16 will give us negative 416. A little bit big, but still, if you believe that your um, steps are you are following the steps properly, then it's okay. You don't need to check anymore. Okay, so next, 1 times x minus 19, it would be the same because it's just times 1. So that would be negative 26y minus 416x minus 19. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to transpose all the constants on the right side and all the um, variables on the left side. So, this will give us negative x nilipat, I mean positive x nilipat naging negative x. Okay. Negative x minus 26y is equals to negative 19 plus 416. Okay. Evaluating this negative 19 plus 416 will give us a positive 3, sorry, positive 397, 397. And this one would give us negative x minus 26y. So, as I did told you in our previous video, okay, if you want, I, I mean, it's very much nicer, okay, it's nicer to see, I mean, it's nicer to see that the x is positive. So, we must change the sign. And remember, when we change the sign of 1, we change the sign of everything. And this would fall under addition only, okay? Purely addition lang. Kapag may multiplication, labas yun, okay? It's not allowed, okay? So, in this case, if I want to change the sign of x to positive, then I will change the sign of everything, including the numbers on the other side, on the right side, giving us positive x plus 26y is equals to 3, negative 397, and this is our equation of the line. Let's just box our final answer. Okay? So, this would be your equation of the line. Okay? And let's have a final example. Our last example. I will not be you know, explaining much on the other parts na. We'll just proceed immediately with, you know, with the solving part. Okay? 3 and 0 and we have negative 11 and negative 15. Okay, so equation natin, this one, okay, and x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. Okay, so this, uh, I'll just label this para hindi kayo malito and you can follow properly. Okay, so y minus, oh, sorry, I will remove the parenthesis na, I will remove the parenthesis. I will proceed immediately with the solving y sub 2 is negative 15 minus y sub 1 is 0 all over um, negative 11 minus 3 times x minus 3. Okay? So, evaluating this one, it will give me y is equals to negative 15 my, um, I think this is, yeah, negative 14 x minus 3. Next, this would become positive because it's division of negative numbers. We have 14y, because I will transpose it on the other side, and 15 times x minus 3. 14y is equals to 15 times x is 15x, and 15 times 3 is negative 4, ne, I mean 15 times negative 3 is negative 45. Okay? And finally, transposing everything on the other side, it will give me with negative 15x, plus 14y is equal to negative 45 and by cosmetic um, well, ano bang term natin doon? okay, because it's uh, again for cosmetics only, para maganda we, uh, we want our x to be positive always, so that's 15x change everything 
and finally this is your equation of the line and let's just box our final answer and that would be the very first form of the um, line which is called as the two-point form okay so if you have any other questions you can chat uh, you can uh, br uh, go over the video again you can chat me in our group thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh